The boy said to him, you know what, hold on. And he took out a knife. He put it towards my neck and said, raw, give me what you got. He had my, had my, lead, my neck lean back. Other boys were going, I come on, do that. Do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Cheering him on. At that point, I was shaking. I thought, raw, like, what's going to happen as he took the knife out? Like, when I thought, raw, is it my life or my phone? Because if I don't give him the phone, what if he stabs me or something? So I gave the phone to him. And he's, the other boy said, hold on, you must have a bus pass because you just got off the bus. I just gave him the bus pass. And one of the boys just said to me, man, are you roll next time? And they ran off. I decided to go to the park because I was with my cousin. I got my brand new bike for my birthday. It's summer. We was riding on the ramps. Then a group of boys come over, say around five, six of them. Asked me, oh, let me see a bike. I was like, no. Then I, my cousin came over, he was seven. Uh, about that time, I was probably around 10. I had to pay my way out of it, you know? But that's the best thing, you know? I ain't losing my life. I'd rather pay my way and, you know, live my life. I was a dumb cunt for actually believing him and making him actually get the, the chance to abuse my trust twice. But you learn, you know? You learn from your mistakes. It was in the afternoon, 3.30, coming back from college. As I got off the bus, I see a group of boys, say 9, 10, 11, a lot of them. Like, most of them had balaclavas around their faces. I kept on walking. One of the boys said, Oi, I looked back. I didn't recognise none of them, so I kept on walking. All of a sudden, one of them came in front of me, so I was surrounded, and they had me in the middle, and they said to me, What area are you from? And I said, Don't watch that. He asked me to follow him down the hill. I was like, No, for they shank me, meaning I'll stab you. At a point, I didn't know what that meant. He went down his trousers to grab something out to threaten me with. So at the point, I said, all right then. And I asked my cousin to follow me down the hill. And I was thinking something bad's going to happen. I was befriended by a friend that I thought was my friend in it. And he basically abused my trust and ended up robbing me. I just made an uh, empty threat. So it was a thing like, I never had no plans to follow through with, with what I said. And it came back and he ended up coming back to kidnap me and further robbing me again. And he was just talking to me saying, well, like, why did I say that about him? Why did I make the threat, what not? He said, well, like, times are hard. He ain't gonna rob me. He's known me for years. So it's a thing like, he sort of kind of gained my trust again, sort of thing, like, made me think that I was just, I was dumb with making a threat sort of thing, it? like, he said he had my money at his house. I thought it was all cool, you know? So we got in the car and we went to go drive to go get the money, you know? Ended up going into the house and the table turned. Everywhere I walk now, I just look like around me to see if I'm safe or not, car. Anything like that can happen again. Now I avoid like going to like certain areas. If I go to another area and they see me, they'll be like, right, what, what area are you from? And the same thing will happen again. And as we got down, we went cut through some bushes. Loads of more older boys come up to us, about four or five of them, and surrounded me to came beside me, on each side of me. Then one grabbed me from behind, pulled me backwards. Then I see them riding off. Then I was sitting on the crying, cry, just crying on the floor. I was scared, I thought I was gonna get stabbed and get killed. I was only young, didn't know what was gonna happen. He ended up pulling out a gun on me and saying, well, I've got to learn my lesson now. I was scared for my life, I was. So it was a thing like, I knew that I said certain things about him and I never actually took it into my hands and went and done it. So I knew that I was in the wrong. They ended up tying up my legs, so I can't run nowhere. Had me there with a gun. Like, they had it there in my face for a good 11, 12 hours. Like, the whole night I was there, the whole day, shall I say. Cause how they was talking is like, they didn't want to kill me. They were just going to shoot me, like, either in my foot or in my leg or something. So I knew that I accepted the shot sort of thing. I ended up getting hit in my head, getting my eyebrow bust. And as I said to them, don't watch this, like, what do you mean don't watch that? You had people walking past, people were just looking and looking away. I saw a lot of school kids walking, but no one intended to help or pay no attention. So the, as they surrounded, they started asking me, what you got for me? They were all started searching me, I was getting, some of them were slapping me across my face. One of them put their hand on my neck, like pushing my head back, and a couple of them were just going from my pockets. Because that happened, I felt more wise on the street, like, just be more careful. Don't really go to that part no more. Been there, probably twice since that happened.